everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome for new today. I figured it'd be fun to do a little New Year's Eve glam with the ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christie at Foresight Palette. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. This would be a really nice New Year's Eve glam. And since I've been doing a lot of Christmas things, I was like, ooh, New Year's Eve glam sounds nice. So I'm taking that Foresight palette by Raw Beauty Christie and ColourPop. And to start out, I'm gonna take the shade Let It Rain. And I'm gonna take that on my Melt 523 brush. And what I'm gonna do is put it in the crease. I'm gonna start from the inner corner of my eye. And I'm just gonna start to map out the shape that I want. I've got my lid primed with the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas and Fair and I am using the Crown Noir Cosmetics Queen of the Cut Crease Half Cut Crease Stencil to make this go by a little bit quicker. And that is my favorite thing about the stencils is that they make doing cut crease looks not take all day. I know that this look is definitely not something to write home about. It's pretty simple, not super extra, but you know, I felt like it was pretty cute. So I am going to do just like the tiniest little baby wing right here. And I'm just going to continue to build up that pigment. It is quite pigmented anyway, but I'm just trying to get it to the level of intensity that I want so that I can start to blend it out. With the same brush I just cleaned it off, I'm going to go into Amanita and blend it out. So with this brush in Almanita, I've really just take I've taken it and I've really just kind of patted it along the edges of that dark shade, let it rain, and just blended it upwards. We're gonna go in and touch it up in just a minute, but I just wanted to get it nice and winged out and ready to blend. To blend that out, I'm taking the Elena Bardo little brush like this, it's a little flat shader. I'm gonna go into old growth to blend out Almanita. I'm really just patting it down and just going back and forth. I'm putting it right up against that Amanita shade. Back and forth windshield wiper motions. And I'm also taking it on this outer corner where it's winged and doing the same thing. And I'm just going to kind of wing it upwards to the tail of my brow. I'm going to take this Morphe M507 brush and go back into Almanita and touch it up real quick. And then I remembered that that is why I didn't use it. I forgot. I was like, I have it out. I'm just going to take the same brush with that Almanita shade on it and touch it up. So I am just touching up on Manita, but I am applying it pretty well, right almost on top of Let It Rain. Not completely on top, but just a little bit. I felt like this would be a nice smoky, almost cranberry New Year's Eve glam. Now with that Melt 523 brush, I'm going to take Let It Rain and just touch it up. Bring it back. Give it a nice little blender room. I'm doing back and forth windshield wiper motions. They are very key. I'm going to extend Let It Rain just a little bit. And I'm going to touch up on Manita just a little bit more. I 
And with old growth on this ColourPop E1 brush, I'm just gonna bring it back. My voice cracked. Oh, yeah. Back and forth, windshield wiper motions for a nice blender room. I hope that if Christy was to see this look that she would think that I did an okay job because I really am proud of how it's turned out so far. I feel like when I do a look with her palette, like either the pure one or this one, it's like, okay, you have to do your absolute best. <laughs> but I always have fun with it. I'm going to touch up on Manita one more time. Back and forth windshield wiper motions. I'm also just going to pat as well. And I'm going to touch up Let It Rain again. Just to have that depth and the smoke. Because I wanted smoky New Year's glam. Vibes. And with that same brush we used for Amanita, I'm just gonna soften, let it rain just a little bit. And I'm gonna take a little tiny, tiny bit of old growth, tapping off any excess, and just kind of pat it and swipe just a little bit. I'm going to take a little tiny, tiny bit of cream and sugar from the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Blends Palette on the Sigma E25 brush just to diffuse all of the harshness that there may be. I don't feel like it's super harsh, but I feel like blending it out with this is just a bob. And I'm going to do it. <laughs> Just cracked open a fresh clean canvas. Alright, so I'm going to take Let It Rain on that 523 brush from Melt Cosmetics. And what I'm going to do is kind of just pat it along the edges of this base and blend it inwards just a little bit. Actually, I need to take this up just a little bit higher too. Alright, let us blend. Now I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics number 6 brush, I do believe, and take Evergreen and swipe it all over my lid. And I'm just going to take it kind of over on Let It Rain because I'm going to blend the two together. So I am pretty much taking it on it a little bit. Now I'm just going to touch it up. And pop on just a tiny bit more of evergreen. Just right at the edge, just barely tap there. Get a little bit of definition. Oh, I quite like this. All right, I'm going to go to the rest of my face and I'll be right back. So 
this is the finished look. What do you think? I really, really like it. Like, I don't see how I didn't think to do a color combination like this when I first got the palette, but I'm like living for it right now. Like, I feel like this is a really good smoky eye date night, New Year's Eve glam, Christmas Eve glam, whatever kind of glam you want it to be. This is honestly something that I've wear to go groceries, but anything that I create just about, unless it's like an FS, FX look, is something that I wear, wear to go get groceries because I am extra extra. And if somebody stares at me like, I ain't hurting anybody. Having fun. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what you'd like to see next down below. Do you want another video with this palette? Because I've been meaning to do one for a minute. My friend Cruelty Free Makeup Haven here on YouTube and Instagram had suggested that I do a look with this palette, but then I had forgot because that's just who I am as a person and I feel really bad about that. But the other day I was looking at this palette and I was like, I need to do a look. I love it. It's been a minute since I've done my Battle of the Palettes video and I remembered when I was doing that that I was like, oh, I want to play with it more. So I was like, this is what we're going to do. We'll do that today. Anyway, I know I'm a rambling mess, but I want to thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to keep up with my awkward face and shenanigans while I'm not here on YouTube, I have all my social medias linked down below. Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all that. And yes, I'm pretty close to 500 subscribers. I would like to thank you all so, so much for subscribing, for watching, everything like that. It really just makes my day. I cannot express to you how much I appreciate you because like I never never thought that I would have that many people that would subscribe to my channel. So I'm like, just thank you so much. It really means the world to me. And if you'd like to keep up with me while I am here on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button. It makes my whole day, makes my whole week. Just, it, it means the world to me. And I hope that I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.